Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to clean up and speed up Ubuntu. We're going to be talking about some quick tips that you can do to make your Ubuntu install run a little bit faster. So the number one tip that you should always do if you want to clean up some of the space, you know, free up some hard drive space with Ubuntu is to clean up the access dependencies. So let me show you what I mean. So I am going to install Kden Live. It's a program uh, that I use often. It's a video editor. And uh, I'm going to install it. It's going to install. I'm going to take a couple of seconds. So now I'm going to uninstall it. Okay, now when I uninstall it, you see all of these files here. All of these files are dependent on Kden Live. They only get installed. And because I removed Kden Live, because I no longer want it on my computer, it's Ubuntu is going to tell me that these packages were automatically installed and not needed. So I essentially have all of this crap just sitting there. And every time you uninstall a program, you're going to have more and more crap build up. So to get rid of this, uh, and it actually tells you right there, to get rid of this, a quick way to free up the, some of that space is to uninstall it. And you can do that with sudo apt auto remove. And you can run the auto remove command that will just uninstall and delete everything, absolutely all the dependent files that don't need to be there anymore. And you can also clear the package cache really quick by just doing sudo apt auto clean and that will clear up some things too. And uh, there we go, a quick way to clean up Ubuntu. And now let's talk about how to speed it up a little bit. So um, let's go to the config folder here. Now inside config, you have the auto start folder. Now, not a lot of people who are new to Ubuntu will understand that all the auto start stuff goes to this folder. Maybe when you do, you search for startup and because you want to get your email client to start up or you want to get your terminal to automatically launch, maybe your email. So you go to the Startup Application Preferences app in Ubuntu and you click the Add button. Well, did you know that these are all just files inside of Auto Start? So we can do ls auto start and we can see there's the Firefox shortcut, GNOME Terminal, Nautilus, and all of that. So the reason I'm doing it through the terminal is because you can actually see what's there and what the other app hides from you and you know exactly what it is, but also you can move it back if you want to like if you want to if you want to save the entries put them somewhere else like if we want to do make dir dash p let's do desktop uh shortcut startup backups we can put this folder here and then we can save all of our startup stuff in this folder here for later and uh you know we can, so simultaneously, we can stop all of this stuff from starting up, which will save us precious boot time. Because when, when you log into uh, Ubuntu, you're not going to see a bunch of stuff loading up and blocking up the way and slowing everything down. You'll just see your desktop and you'll be able to get to work. So to do that, you can just do the MV command and then just do asterisk for a wildcard and then desktop. And that will move all of the files. One sec. To the shortcut folder. Now, if we go into auto start again, we see there's nothing there. So, if we go back to the startup entry, we now have just the application startup stuff that Ubuntu has set for us normally. And we see our application backups are right here and at any time if we decide you know what we actually we do want this we can just put that right back in this folder at any time and it can run but this will save you precious boot speed and this is actually important because if you've bought a, a, a Linux computer from a friend maybe they have some applications started up or they have uh, Ubuntu pre-configured for you maybe you got it from a vendor or, or something like that this could be slowing down your machine so definitely need to look through the auto start folder so another way you can speed up Ubuntu, and this isn't something that's super necessary, especially with modern hardware, but if you don't really like watching the grub boot menu hang for uh, long periods of time, what you can do is just shorten the time that it takes to boot up. The default is five seconds, like I've said, and it's kind of slow. So to change the grub timeout, 
you'll need to do nano slash etsy slash default slash grub and this information can be found in the description so the timeout here as we can see is 10. now i've been saying five through this video but ubuntu has it at 10. It, it's really one you know it's either 10 or five they differ but basically it's it's slow and to make it faster you should change the timeout so what i generally do is i like to change mine to something a little bit more reasonable like two seconds or three seconds because if you're going to boot something else all you got to do is press the arrow keys and it stops the automatic boot the timeout is just for okay i haven't touched my pc the grub boot menu is about to start i want it to automatically load i don't want to sit and stare at the screen for 10 seconds or three seconds and wait for it to work because that's 10 seconds i could be you know doing other things logging into my computer so uh, just edit this file here and you just click the uh, control O button here, save it up. And with Ubuntu, you can just do sudo update grub and that's an alias that will generate a file and it will fix our configuration and change our boot time. All right guys, so that's some major ways you can go through Ubuntu and speed it up. Uh, please check the description. As always, we go over some other things you can speed up Ubuntu with. Uh, we can't cover everything here because it would take a lot of time to explain everything, but uh, if you want to improve the speed and cleanliness of your Ubuntu PC, check that out. It goes over cleaning up PPAs and stuff like that. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Derek, and I will see you in the next one.